This is going to be a crazy yeah. matchup Sunday night between these two teams. Now, entering this ball game, you have a situation where it's basically a pick em in this one, all right? Bills are uh, dogs in this one by minus one and a half. So it makes it interesting because this is also a rematch from what we saw in the divisional round back yep. on January 22nd, where we saw Joe Burrow go to work, and that was a 27 to 10 win for the Bengals. So I will start us off in this one. I'm going to go with my man Joe Burrow once again Ooh, because he looks Joe great. Cole. Have you not seen hmm. Joe Burr? Not afraid of anything. That calf looks very healed. So I'm going to go with a little SGP with him. Two plus TD passes and also over 254 and a half passing yards. So Joe Burrow is a guy that's recorded two or more TD passes in three consecutive weeks and I already told you that Jamar Chase will get a touchdown dance and he's going to be in the end zone. So one of those TD passes will be to my man Jamar Chase. But also Burrow is averaging 261.6 passing yards within that three week stretch as well. So I'm going to go with a guy that's hit the over on his pass yards in two of the last three weeks. Funston, where are you going with this one? Uh, I'm with you on that, and I'm going to go with Joe Burrow's check down man in the flat there, and Joe Mixon, I'm looking for him to go over 20 and a half receiving yards. Last week, I went over Mixon's receiving yard number. He treated me right. I think he's going to do it again. Look at last year, he averaged 31 and a half receiving yards per game, one of the best receiving backs in the league. You look at Buffalo, the sixth most receiving yards allowed to running backs. Last couple games, Rashad White went for 70. Ramondre Stevenson went for 51. So I like Mixon in this one. They go over 20. 20 and a half receiving yards. All right, Brad, you like Josh Allen to use his uh, twinkle toes to move around uh, defenders. Yeah, he's got some <laughs> animated legs in this one. Give me the over on rush yards. That'll at 26 and a half right now at Bet MGM. Uh, the, the coaching staff has said, hey, we got to design more runs for Josh Allen, and they implemented that last week against Tampa. Season high, seven rush attempts, ran for 41 yards. He's gone for at least 36 in three games, and I think he's going to be around a similar vicinity in this one. Cincinnati, number 12 in pressure rates, so some opportunities opportunistic runs there and they're also giving up 27.9 rush yards per game look if Brock freaking Purdy can <laughs> run for 57 yards Josh Allen give me 27 and a winning ticket all right there it is man and not an indictment on Brock Purdy but come on Josh Allen hit the yeah, over for my on, guy man. man take finish this off in this one yeah, I'm going Dalton Kincaid over 38 and a half receiving yards. Now, Buffalo has a problem, and I'm not sure if I just got here, Razul Douglas is going to be able to help him this week. Mm. And because they have a problem at corner, that means they got a problem with Jamar Chase. Y'all already talked about that. And if that's the case, that means Josh the Kincaid should be popping like Kool-Aid. Dalton Kincaid, <laughs> baby. Look, Cincinnati Bengals, they give up the most fantasy points to tight ends. So if fantasy is your thing, that's why you need to get Kincaid in your lineup. No Dawson Knox. So that means my man Joe Thorough is back. We've already seen that over the past few weeks. Josh going to have to slang that thing around. Kincaid going to be one of the main beneficiaries.